Now, while breast cancer awareness is thankfully on the rise around South Africa, women need to undergo mastectomies, then face the complex practical and personal issues of wearing a breast prosthesis. Now, mechanical engineer Niele Nkulise wanted to help. Let's find out how she got it. Nearly is a social entrepreneur who saw that women needed something better than what the market was giving them. She realized that 3D printing was the solution. I've always had a passion in healthcare. Coming from an engineering world, uh, I believe that with the rise of tech and with the rise of, you know, the startup ecosystem, I felt that there needed to be collaboration within healthcare and engineering for us to drive development in ensuring that we improve the quality of healthcare in South Africa and Africa at large. The beauty of 3D printing technology is the freedom of going straight from your computer-aided design of the model as it is and is printed exactly like that in a 3D printer. So it gives a designer or an engineer or anyone using 3D printing the ability to just get a model as a CAD model from a computer and get it printed as it is in a 3D printer. And we have seen just the rise on uh, machines that are able to create quality and perfection just like the design. These prosthetics are produced to be more cost-effective and available more widely to people from all economic backgrounds. The immediate goal is to 3D print enough for a thousand mastectomy patients by October this year. When we did the breast implant, our focus was looking at different materials that could offer women comfort and lightness because the breast implants that were in the market right now were made from silicone gel, which some women would find quite heavy. So with the product, it was a combination of different materials that we took some time to find a quality product that is lightweight, is comfortable and it provides ease of use. In 2015, nearly won an SAB Foundation Social Innovation Award, but the journey of entrepreneurship wasn't always easy. I've always been someone who is passionate about design, so my focus had always been in product development. But in business, it's not just product development that is essential for you to reach a certain level of your growth. Because I had made focus on product development only, I then neglected the most important aspects of the business. So I think there was a point in my life where I just had a beautiful product and a, a failing business. What I've learned from my mistakes, uh, most particular was collaboration. When you find people who call you and say, I'm inspired by your story and I wanna be part of your journey. And you tell them, but I'm still little, but they say, I will grow with you. That is something that I have learned that one needs to surround herself with a network of people who care about your development. I've been working here for a couple of months. Um, being a new graduate, it's been a good working and learning experience, especially working in a vibrant team like this. Young people, you know, you always get inspired. When you meet people like Nelly and Kodisi, Working for someone young and to see how much she's achieved at such an early age, you know, it's, it's very good for us or per se for me as a young entrepreneur as well. She's helping me build my own company, my own organization as well. So I've learned so much since I started working here. As one of the World Economic Forum's top African female innovators, nearly encourages other ideas people to be bold. The word of advice I have to young people wanting to enter the journey of a business, being entrepreneurs, is just do it and allow yourself to learn along the way from your failures, from your successes. You need to have that strong willpower to keep making it against all odds. If you think little, you will get little. If you think crazy and think big, you will get big. Even if you don't get big, you just sit around the middle where people who think little may never reach. Having created one socially impactful business, nearly sees leg prosthetics as the next frontier in 3D printing.